video I'm making um, balsamic glazed uh, Brussels sprouts and shallots. So here are my shallots. I'm just going to slice them up. Just like that. We're going to go on the pan. And sprinkle them through. For salt and pepper. <clears throat> now I already cleaned these Brussels sprouts. Um, I nipped the ends off. And I cleaned any extra um, excess leaves off them. Just gonna toss it under the pan. <clears throat> now I got my 100% extra virgin olive oil here. It's from Aldi's. Just gonna drizzle a little bit, not too much, just a coat. I don't have too many here, so. <clears throat> a crack of fresh pepper. some Himalayan pink salt in my little container. Just a nice big pinch or two. I never think you can have too much salt on Brussels sprouts. They soak it up. So Now we're just going to toss them. Just coat in that oil. And I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. Um, they're going to roast for about uh, maybe 20-25 minutes just until they get a nice brown color. Now normally I would cut them in half, but seeing as how they're so small, I didn't really feel the need to. So, we just have our shallots all sprinkled throughout there. And they're going to give this dish a really nice garlicky, um, mild onion flavor. So... There's the Brussels sprouts, and I'll show you the balsamic, balsamic glaze. Um, so here I just have a little saucepan heating up. It's about on uh, medium heat, and I have a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar going right into the bottom. Now since there's so little uh, balsamic vinegar in that, it's going to take no time to reduce. So you just put it on a medium heat, and you let it go till it starts bubbling, and you'll see it thicken up. The uh, goal here is to get it nice and syrupy. Here I have some asparagus wrapped in bacon. Um, I, I did them in bunches of two since this bacon is kind of thick cut. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do one over here. So I just take two um, washed and cleaned up asparagus spears. And you just get it. And you start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. And wrap it once over itself so it holds. And then bring it up the rest of the asparagus spear. I hope you can see that. And you just lay it seam side down right on the pan. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Once these bake up, the bacon's going to contract around uh, the asparagus spears and it'll hold perfect for your dinner plate. are almost done roasting these Brussels sprouts. As you can see, they got a nice brown color. I'm going to get, let them go a little while longer just to keep browning up. Uh, but the shallots are getting nice and caramelized, and uh, we're almost done with those. And back here, we have our bacon wrapped asparagus. You can see all that bacon fat. Uh, don't throw that away. Just drain it off from your pan, put it in a jar, and use it to cook some chicken later on in the week or cook whatever. And, uh, so yeah, these are almost done. I'm going to let them go about another uh, 10 minutes. I'd say they've cooked for uh, 15 or 20 minutes now. Um, so yeah, they're almost done and we're almost ready to plate up. So our Brussels sprouts just came out of the oven and you can see the nice uh, beautiful caramelization it got. All the color. And uh, here I have the balsamic vinegar that I uh, let simmer in a saucepan until it thickened up and you can see the consistency a little bit. It's a little more thick. So we're gonna, just going to drizzle a tiny bit down over the pan and you want to reserve a little bit um, of the balsamic vinegar to put on your plate um, for a prettier presentation. So you just want to mix them around in the balsamic vinegar a little bit maybe want to taste one, check for some salt and pepper. Mmm. Okay. 
So we need a little bit of salt. And this is Himalayan pink salt. Maybe a crack of pepper. And our Brussels sprouts. Right, now our bacon wrapped asparagus came out of the oven and you can tell they're done because you see all the fat um, has rendered off. And like I said, don't throw that away. You need to save that and cook with it later. Um, and yeah, you never have to worry about a perfect uh, wrap on the bacon because you can see they all uh, stay together. So, yeah, our bacon's done. And I just added a crack of black pepper on before they went in the oven.